Almost all of the great swordsmiths that are mentioned in Japanese history have something more than a mere technological ability that uh, is thought to have been their own refinement by fire. My name is Michael Bell. I am Nihon Tosho. The craft we follow to this day is still linked somehow to that craft that's uh, uh, matured uh, over a thousand years ago in Japan. The first thing I do is make my own steel since it's not possible to buy sword grade steel on the commercial markets. We basically work in two types of steel, a traditional type of steel. We also make another sword that is forge welded from an uh, inch plus logging cable, a very pro prosaic source. I also grew up spending a lot of time in my dad's workshop. I was always involved uh, with either my own projects or watching my dad. So I kind of grew up um, just totally involved in the art. This clay is a thermal mask in a sense and that uh, it is applied to the body uh, or back of a blade, the thickest part of the blade, and it helps protect it from getting too hot, that is to say, uh, to critical temperature. The incredible transformation that comes over a blade that goes into the water straight and comes out curved. It's quite a changed thing. It feels different in the hand. Now it feels like a sword, not a stick. To me, every time I quench a sword, it's a little death and a little birth. all the mountings and the fittings and all those details which are pieces of art in themselves they can be done solely by us so that certainly is something else that sets us apart like creating anything you know just being that like connection with your hands and your mind um, that's a big part of who i am now it actually goes two ways with years spent at the forge and diligently refining your product one almost is forged in their own right in the process. 